it's days like today that you just don't want to live the RV life anymore. Oh, shit. RV is broken in so many places. Our slide is broken. It has been since we found out since the flood that it was broken. And now our electricals are broken. I mean, our, our it's been flashing. We've had some lights flashing for a while. We don't know what that's from. But also now it's tripping the breaker every time, just all the time. And they replaced the breaker, so it's not that. So now we need an RV, a mobile RV repair person to come out and check it. And um, this doesn't happen in regular people's houses, right? Like, I just want a normal house. Oh, and then our propane ran out. And okay, I know, and it's winter. Tear, tear, poor me, wah, wah. But I just want to be in a normal house where I can be warm and and your house doesn't like break. So that's much to ask. Sometimes the RV life is not so freaking glamorous. Not that we were ever super glamorous at it. I have come home to good news. Our lights are on. We don't have to camp in our own RV. And uh, how to get done, baby? Uh, lots of research on the old internet and uh, me just starting to get angry about the fridge not being on. Yeah, well, just kind of with a wish and a prayer. So, yeah, plugging it in and it works. Just keep on twisting electrical cables together. All right. We can't tell you how to do things, really. Just kind of twist, twist. Shock, shock. Yeah, we're still gonna get the RV repairman to come out and like double check all the stuff and maybe replace a, a an electrical panel. Yeah, the uh, the uh, breaker panel. Breaker panel, and uh, everything is still kind of out in the open. I'll show you. Hello, this is a tripping hazard, but uh, that's fine. It's accessible, and uh, it's all right. We'll wait for the uh, people to get here and fix things, and then who cares? Right now we have lights. Woo! Clue number one, the microwave wouldn't turn on. Clue number two, the fireplace stopped working. It seems that our, oh, clue number three, our lights started dimming. It seems that just a wish and a prayer doesn't necessarily work long-term, not work short-term. So I think we're going to go back to camping so things don't get worse before the RV tech guys get here. I uh, I go to the bathroom at night a thousand times because my bladder is the size of a three-year-old and uh, I have to use a lantern. Yeah, that's, that's RV life right now. It's never good when you see this in an RV. Apparently this guy right here uh, decided to go bad on us. I think that's what happened. At first I thought it was the outside um, breaker. Then I had to replace this breaker, the 50 amp breaker in the center here, uh, because it started shorting out. I couldn't figure out what was going on, but then I noticed that this fan on the back here was no longer going. And I decided to pull it out check it out and it looks like that thing wasn't working. Cat today brought home this. That's a replacement one of those. So now I'm going to put this together and hopefully we can get power and I can put this thing back. You've been camping. 
in that hole. Yeah, we, we've totally been camping. With lanterns and flashlights and, yeah, stolen <laughs> power. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, doggies. But now I'm going to fix this. Cat also brought home one of these guys. A little surge protector. It's going to go in line. And hopefully tell us uh, the power from the shore is any good. I'm about to connect that guy here. I've got the other thing wired, but still outside of the uh, little cubby hole. So I'm gonna connect this. It should hopefully tell me whether or not our power is clean. Yeah, yeah, that's a ticket. Yeah. There you have that, that's all plugged in. And we got three green lights, which means power is on and all is good. Checking out the batteries here. Everything is hooked up in series, looking good. Now let's see if everything's working out inside. All right, now comes the test. She's all hooked up. He's all hooked up. Let's turn this power on. Nothing exploded. That's the converter. Is the fan going? I don't see the fan going, but there's no heat on it yet. Our batteries are completely dead and our lights won't turn on at all. Let's see if I get any charge on the batteries and I'll check back here soon. Uh, let's see if our lights, oh wait, I didn't hook up something. The ground, I gotta hook up the ground. So in order to get the ground to connect, I had to throw it back there. Uh, but it is connected now, everything's on. I'm gonna go ahead and put the panel back and just let it sit there for a while. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully, you know, it works. <laughs> Uh, so apparently, the thing we just got burnt out, there's, there's this smoke pouring out from under there. I just turned off, but wait, turned off everything. Fuck. Yeah. So, smoke is coming out. That's the magic smoke. If you let that out, it doesn't work anymore. No, oh, the magic smoke escaped. Fuck. Tonight we are out because I can't cook dinner at home. We eat well. But I'm also drinking a lot. So maybe it's also celebrating that Mia got her new apartment. Uh, Luna got her car fixed. And uh, Laverne is back. Laverne is back. She's, I don't even know if I told you guys. Laverne's been missing for damn near two months. Like, it's not somebody stole her. She went to West Coast Diesel for some like deep, deep repair work. Her engine basically got a whole facelift and-, and Re Rebuilt, she had. Like from the ground up 12,000 um, something dollars Crackheads, new heads, new. Uh, gaskets, new ERG cooler. Uh, she needs a new turbo, but that's, that's nice. Uh, she got a new instrument. It's too cluster. loud in here. We'll talk more outside, but the we're bird's celebrating. Back. The bird's back. The bird's back. The bird's back. The bird's back. <laughs> Gotta have a good dinner. <laughs> this is not egg, despite the fact that it kind of looks like egg or mashed potatoes. That's olive oil inside Thank of you. a uh, very... So, we've been eating. My husband really needs me to hold a drink while I speak. Also, have another drink in the, in the scene. Uh, we've been eating at, where are we, Costello's? No, Catello's. Catelli's. Catelli's. And um, Lucifer is at home where we have extension cords so that there is light. 
Eventually, someone will come and fix our house. Eventually. Until then, I drink port. He drinks white wine. She's basic. And um, we await people fixing our house. Because this is our life. So we've uh, been having some uh, mice problems. I complain about them often. I hate these mice. I hate these mice. I hate these mises to pieces to quote a cartoon from my childhood. So today I'm going to uh, do something about it. I've been uh, already vacuuming out down there. I took this wall off to get out where they were. Vacuum up all the little mice poop. And uh, now, I'm going to add this really, really thin gauge uh, square grid chicken wire and some great stuff to help put it in there. Staple it down, make sure it stays in place and uh, prevent them from having access from the bottom of the RV up into the top living area of the RV. And so uh, hopefully this cuts down their pathways quite a bit. Hopefully this works. This is in the ongoing saga. You know, we were dealing with the power issues. So we had the R RV repair guys come out there uh, the other day and uh, they'll be back here to finish the job. But uh, the ongoing power issues and the um, ongoing mice issues and since the rain, the damn ant issues, which we mostly got, you know, well, somewhat under control. I still find them every once in a while. But uh, yeah, our neighbors are doing work too. You can hear them. What do say, baby? I say I'm not as into RV life as I used to be. Because the damn mice, man. It's not just the mice, but it's the fact that we haven't had power in over a month. Oh yeah, the power issue has been the major portion. Yeah, I want to leave. Yeah. Today. <laughs> so I was able to go through and Put down chicken wire first and then grate stuff over them for all the little spots where they can come up so underneath each part of uh great stuff there's this and it's stapled down and then this stuff is on top and it's uh, now hardened so they'd have to chew through the uh plugged great stuff stuff and get through the chicken wire which they can't uh, when I couldn't do this stuff because it was stuff I needed to move, I used aluminum foil uh, to stuff the holes. So up there in the corner, you can see where the wires are going in and I need to be able to have access. I've stuffed it full of aluminum foil. But as of right now, this area should be completely sealed off. So they won't be getting up in here. Hooray! So it's all vacuumed out. I got more vacuuming to do. I'm gonna clean up all my extra little great stuff mess. But uh, there we go. This cable here that's tied off here will be where my new converter attaches to once I get the outside shore plug replaced. And that's coming in on Monday. Uh, the guys that are in here uh, are actually rewiring that panel over there so that I, because uh, it got burnt out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back together. We found some other wires that have been chewed up by mice. I'm upset about that too. The awesome guys here from Golden State RV Mobile Services are out here fixing the RV. They've already wired up the inside. And now they're wired up the outside and we'll be set. It's off and now it's on little LED and then once you put it in right you put it there's a little groove on top you slide in then you twist it to the right and then right here has a little thread that screws it, on screws on yeah that's, and that's reading good before I even put that on that was reading good all right because this would tell you if there's anything wrong open neutral open ground missing line one I don't even know if that is protecting the surge though yeah okay reverse it is, it is. yeah it is because right. uh if it's if the red, if one of these light up, then that means these are backwards. 
uh, uh, neutral reverse or uh, neutral reverse on line one or line two. So everything is green. So that means everything is good here. We're good. We're freaking good. All right, see that? That's that's it. Power's the, uh, back. Well, now I gotta. Now we just gotta wire in the uh, the converter. Temporarily, we've been using this guy to to charge the batteries, but it's a trickle charger. So we got this thing charging these batteries, but now we'll have the converter charging. Hey man, do I need to take this other charger off before we turn on that converter? 120. Nothing, huh? Doesn't look like it's doing anything. Hold on, let's see if I can see if the fan's going. Well, it's on. It's plugged in. All right, no fan moving or anything like that. I'll grab the new one. Well, that, no, 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 I mean, like, I don't care if the fan's moving or not. Oh, out with the old. In with the new. We replaced the entire uh, power system from the panel to the converter to the inlet to the 50 amp cord yeah. to the breakers. Breakers. I mean, just two breakers, right? The main breaker outside and the, the panel out, out here. Mm -hmm. uh, main breakers. The only thing you didn't replace was wires. Oh man, I still got those wires. Like I told you, the wires that are making that one red light go yeah. under the sink. I got those. Yeah. Uh, but uh, grab my phone. Guys from Golden State are just leaving. Uh, look at this. The heater's on, and it's blowing out heat. The fuse panel is fully put back. Refrigerator, 32 degrees. Want to see something crazy? Want to see something crazy that we haven't had in a little while? Here's what's crazy we haven't had in a little while. Let me, oh, let me just hit the uh, clear end. Microwave! Microwave's back, which means TV's working, all the, all the comforts at home, all thanks to Golden State RV. Thank you guys. Now, we got some more work to do. As you can see, I replaced that light with one of our replacement lights, but it doesn't match this light. This one's blue and this one's yellow. So gotta fix that. We don't like the blue light. But other than that, things are starting to look up. Ain't that right, Lumps? Ain't that right? Yeah, don't we got power? Don't we got power? You so happy. So what is it like to have power again? I, I'm making dinner. <laughs> microwave dinner. In the microwave. After what seems like five years, our lights finally work again. It's amazing. And what are we going to do? Rent another RV to travel in. It's weird how this one ended up our living RV and how other RVs have become our travel RVs. Now we have two and yet we're renting one. Listen, don't ask. Our <laughs> kit, our, our other RV that we traveled in last time you saw us traveling around in an RV um, versus staying in one. It the last time it was used was used to transport people from a fire and it had animals in it and it is not uh up to the kind of travel oh plus it needs some more fixing it's got it's got some issues so we are going to southern california we're going to go ride our bikes um near the beach and bring our dog and it's going to be amazing so we are renting an rv this time and it's going to be amazing i already said that that's fine uh and i'm really excited but it's funny how many rvs are in our life like rv life like a mother i was thinking about you i don't know if we're gonna actually end up where we thought we were going we don't know where we're going. We don't know where we've been. And 
and we think our running lights at the very least are out on the trailer maybe more but are we stopping my wife just informed me that it's uh, 33 degrees right now